Hey everyone, this is Kelly. I am so excited to show you some of the resources you can find as you're going through our Intervention Insiders membership site. One of the areas I wanna draw your attention to is right here, I've scrolled down to where I found the Phonological Awareness Structured Literacy Activities. And you guys, this is a treasure trove of activities. We all know how important phonological awareness skills are for our readers, especially our impacted readers. Regardless of the level you're at with your students, whether you're in foundations or you're in decoding and encoding, you wanna make sure phonological awareness exercises are a piece of every single lesson and that you are hitting on that and constantly beefing up those skills. Now you're going to have some students that struggle with this more than others. And if you're finding some students need some additional practice or they haven't cemented the skill yet and you just need to keep in front of it, in front of them with it in a fun and engaging way, we have created a bunch of really fun games and activities that can all be found right here, broken down by skill. So as you're doing your progress monitoring with them and noticing that they may have some phonological awareness gaps or holes in certain areas, you you can really hone in on that area to develop that strategy for them. So these are all wonderful, but I want to show you two of my absolute favorites. The first one here is going to be rhyming activities. We do have um, kind of a how to use it, what to do with it, how to prepare it um, sheet of directions here for you. And then this first one you're going to come across is for rhyme discrimination. This is just where you're talking to a student and you're going to give them two words and they have to determine, yes, those words rhyme or no, those words don't rhyme. And we've given you all of these cards where you can show the student the card and then tell them the word dog log, or maybe they're ready to say the word dog log. Does that rhyme or not rhyme? Yes, that rhymes. So they're going to set that card right here on that map. Then you're scrolling down, hand, stand. Does this rhyme? And again, they're gonna lay it on the mat. Isn't that the cutest? Another activity in these rhyming, um, in this rhyme packet is rhyme production. Now rhyme production is much more of a complex skill than determining if the word rhymes or doesn't. So the rhyme discrimination, do that first. That's kind of building up their scaffolding, right? Then rhyme production would come later um, if they're skilled with rhyme discrimination, then you're gonna move on to rhyme production. So this is where you show them the card, the word is wag. Can your student produce a word that rhymes with wag, lag, bag, sag? We've got all of these cute pictures, smash, scent, and pages here where you can go through and help develop that strategy to produce rhymes. Another really cute activity, going back to this main list, is our auditory discrimination. I really like this one too. This is another skill that can be really hard for our students. This is when there are similar sounds and they're just having a hard time distinguishing between those two sounds. So like always, we've given you some information here about suggestions for preparing it, how to use it, how to pull it into your lesson plan. Then, Look at this. So we know, oh my gosh, all of us who work with readers know that the m and n sounds can be mixed up all the time. So we've started with giving a visual for your student of what their mouth should look like. This is a cue for them that it's a n. Mm. It's a drawn out sound. It's not just a clipped sound. N. Mm. Then down here below this chart are all these images that your students can cut out and sort. Is this an m? Mm? or an n sound, and they're going to sort it on the mat. Then we go from that level up to the word level. Your student gets to go through and circle any silly nonsense words. They're going to practice reading this if they're at that stage and they're ready for it. Again, practicing that m and n sound. Then we're going to go down here to the sentence level. Again, practicing m and n, but taking it into connected text. And then we have some other similar sounds that students often get mixed up for you to work through with your kids. We hope you find this useful. Again, you can really hone in on the phonological awareness skill that your student is lacking in or just needs to strengthen and pull activities straight from here.